He loved his classmate, but she did not notice him. Years later, he read her diary and began to cry. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Storyist. Today, I will tell you a story about a boy who fell in love with his classmate, but she never noticed him. But years later, he read her diary and began to cry. Watch the video until the end to find out what happened. Our story today takes place in a small American town in the Midwest. Living in this small town was a young high school student who was falling in love. The young man had just seen the most beautiful girl that he had ever laid eyes on while he was picking up a book at the school library. She was sitting by herself reading a book, so he didn't want to bother her. Besides, she was much too pretty. She probably wouldn't want to talk to him anyway. But he couldn't get her out of his head. And when he went back to the library to return the book a week later, she was there again. She sat in front of a large window, completely absorbed by what she was doing. She looked beautiful to the young man, and he couldn't help but stare for just a moment. The way the light is hitting her hair, he thought to himself. She looks just like an angel. But then his musings were interrupted by the librarian. Lost in his thoughts of the angel with the book, he hadn't realized that he had reached in front of the return line. Can I help you, young man? said the librarian, trying her best to hide a smile. The young man stammered out an apology and handed over his book. S -s Sorry, he stuttered. I was just, um... The librarian chuckled. <laughs> It's okay, young man. I didn't mean to embarrass you. Then she leaned in a little closer. You know you could talk to her. She motioned her head towards the girl with the book. She's here after school every day until we close. I'm sure she'd like to meet a fellow book lover. The young man blushed, took one last look around the library, and then left without another word. He was far too shy to ever talk to a girl as pretty as the angel in the library. Besides, she was always reading. It would be rude to disturb her, right? The young man could think of a million reasons why he shouldn't talk to this girl, even though he desperately wanted to. He was just too nervous. So day after day went by without him working up the courage to go up and say hello. But day after day, he found himself thinking about her. He had never felt this way about a girl before, and he daydreamed about her often. He pictured them going on dates, taking books to the park to sit by the lake and read together. He imagined them traveling together and visiting different libraries across the country. But when he thought about actually introducing himself to her, his stomach would tie up in knots and his palms would get all sweaty. He just couldn't raise his courage. So one day, the young man decided that he was going to try as best as he could to see if maybe he could get her to notice him. Maybe if she started the conversation, he thought, it would be easier and he wouldn't get so anxious. So every day after school, he would pick a book at the school library and sit near the beautiful girl and read until the library closed for the evening. He never worked up the courage to say anything to her, but every once in a while, their eyes would meet. One time, she even smiled at him. The young man practically melted in his chair. He smiled. Her smile was the most gorgeous thing he had ever seen. He felt like he could write a hundred books about it. The days went on, and the smiles continued, but they never turned into words. The young man desperately wished that the angel in the library would notice him enough to say something to him but he feared that he would never be brave enough to make the first move. So he was content to wait. Besides, he enjoyed spending time with her at the library, even if it was in silence. What if he asked her out and she said no, and it ruined everything? No, he thought to himself. It was better to wait and see if things would change by themselves. But they never did. Soon, a year went by, and then another, and the two still hadn't spoken a word to each other. When the end of their senior year came, the young man didn't even notice his angel's name. 
he learned at the graduation ceremony, having never worked up the courage to ask her himself. After graduating, they both found jobs right there in town, so they still saw each other at the local library. In fact, the young man would go there and sit near her and read nearly every chance that he got. But still, as the years went on, he never mustered up the courage to ask her out or even say hi to her. The young man began to write poetry at night to help get his feelings out. He would write verse after verse about his angel of the library, about how beautiful she was. He would write poems about how happy they would be together. He would also get sad, though. Sometimes he would think they were never meant to be, and he would write poems about that, too. But he always kept it to himself and never showed anyone. Most of all, he still never told his angel how he felt about her. Then, one day, tragedy suddenly struck. The young man saw in the paper that his angel had been killed in a terrible car accident. He couldn't believe it. He never told her how he felt, and now she was just gone. The young man shut himself away for hours, crying himself to sleep at night. He finally emerged when it was time for her estate sale, when all of her possessions were to be auctioned off to the public. He wanted something to remember her by, so he went to the sale. As soon as he got there, he saw the list of items. The young man knew what he wanted to buy. His angel's entire book collection was being sold as one lot. It was only two small boxes worth of books, but the young man would have paid anything. What better way to remember the angel of the library than with her favorite books? So he quickly bought the book collection and headed home to place the books on his shelves. When the young man got home, he carefully unpacked each of the books and lovingly placed them on his bookcase. He glanced over the titles, deciding he would read every one of them. There were all sorts of books. Classics, romance novels, murder mysteries, and science fiction books, too. But then, one small book in particular caught his eye. It didn't have a title on the cover, so he opened it up to see what it was. What he found was beyond his wildest expectations. The small, untitled book was, in fact, a diary. It was his angel's diary. With tears in his eyes, he began to read. The whole diary was full of the most beautiful prose, all about the quiet young man at the library who would always sit next to her and read. She wrote, I like that he respects my privacy, but I think he is very handsome, and I long to get to know him. But, she wrote, I'm just too shy. There's no way he would be interested in a bookworm like me. The young man clutched the book to his chest and sobbed. All this time she had loved him too. If only he had found the courage to tell her before it was too late. So never wait to tell someone that you love them. You'll never know what you've got until it's gone. If you like this story, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. We'll see you in the next story.